But yes, I'm a cannibal. Let's let's eat a child. How old is the? It's two years old. I'm gonna eat your two-year-old kid. It's gonna be a light snack. <laughs> People keep murdering my children. For the sake of the kingdom, you will stop this search. I have lived my whole life right under your nose, and still you are so blind. To uncover my identity would only bring you pain. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And we are back playing Crusader Kings 3 once again with our man, King Ermenred the Third, King of Mercia. Look at him, he's young, primed and ready. And he's a cannibal, so we get to start from the beginning as a cannibal. This is gonna be fun. Let's do that. It's, it's, it's not a bad little empire we've got actually at the minute. That's 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 quite good. I think he might have inherited something. I don't remember. Our man King Ermenred of Mercia. His wife, Queen Sybil, and our heir, Prince Aethelwulf. So hopefully we won't be called Ermenred again, because I can't say his name very well. He looks like a decent lad. He's callous, trusting, zealous, and he's curious. But we've not looked at what King Ermenred is. He is. He's an honest man. He's honest, <laughs> but like he's a cannibal. He's arbitrary, so he does his own thing with little regard for others. He's just gonna go full on and do his own things. Like, I don't care. Forgiving though, he's, he's very forgiving and he's a flamboyant trickster. I really want to get back up here, but I also want to try and play this little bit a bit more like The Sims. Let's get to know people. Let's learn about who we live with. My lifestyle choice, so I'm an intriguing person. Let's go on this. Oh, I'm already almost a schema. So, I've got all these very exciting things. Seeing as I've already been doing a lot of scheming, I'm gonna go school drugger focus, empty council position. So I've gotta refill all my council. Seeing as spying is obviously my guy's number one priority. Let's choose a spy master first. I've got this guy who is a knight. Look at him. Wow, he's, he's scarred. But, you know what? He's, he's a good lad. I shall assign him as my spy master. Yeah, look at him. The steward, because money is important. My brother would want a position, I suppose. He's gonna want a position. He's already pissed at me. He's my rival, though. It appears that my brother would be the best option. Let's see Marshall first, shall we? Marshall. My brother, again, we keep it in the family. So Chancellor, I suppose, then, will be this guy, Emic. I mean, I could... Should we give it... Oh, let's see. He, he is my actual rival. I don't know why we're rivals. Should we make him my chancellor just to keep him on good books? I can't... I'm already scheming against him. What am I doing? I'm already scheming to murder him. Okay. Let's see if we can fight any agents. You can be convinced. You can be convinced. And you can be convinced. I could bribe him. 55. 68. Let's just... Bribe this guy. Let's do this. Bribe him. Let's keep you. Let's keep you nice. Let's keep you all good and invite you to my uh, council. You like me a little bit now. See, I can ask my head of faith for gold because I am faithful. Does he like me? He's he likes me plus thirty five. So if I get him to pay me money, that's fine. I can barely contain my glee as I found Countess Gaila, my rival's wife, waiting for me along with a small equipage. If I could get her to help me in my scheme. 75%. I think it's worth the risk. Let's try that. Okay, does that mean I could get her in on my scheme? Let's see if I can get her in on my scheme. She can be convinced. Right, I know I'm honest. I'm going to get stressed out. But you shall gr vastly improve my scheme chances of killing this guy. I don't even know, but he's my rival. Let's do that. All right, this guy's joined. The bishop has joined. So we've got 29% chance now. Yes, she's joined. 87% chance. I think the chances at the minute are quite good. Yeah, let's, let's have this guy murdered for no reason. Apart from the fact he's my rival. This is great. I like it. Wait, where can I go to war? Who? What can I... <laughs> I was thinking about war. I can do a holy war for the duchy there, but no way. Oh, mate, I can go to war against all of these. Ah, no, I'll be disgraced. I don't want that. I want to be a good king. Okay, right. With recent upset among the peasants of Shalon, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of Count Eidmere. With coin in the right pockets and agitators on every corner, we could stage an entire riot while the court count is passing through the streets. Time for some good old-fashioned mob rule, and I lose 10% stress. Yes! He's dead! 
My rival is dead. Beat and trampled by his own subjects, the agitated peasants went wild seeing their liege riding through the streets and tore both him and several of his knights from their mounts beating them to death. Many peasants were hanged, including my agitators, which means it cannot be traced back to me. Oh, thank you. Well, again, I lose 40 stress because my rival dies. Oh, but I only lost 25 stress because I'm forgiving. Visiting the local mar market and a merchant from a faraway land catches my attention. Come closer, my lord. Marvel at treasures never before seen in these lands. What right past the guards responsible for these beauties? A true knower of people I am, th that I am. This merchant might have more to give me than marvels from afar. It must be interesting traveling as much as you do. That, no. He will tell me everything that he knows. This sh should cover both for trinket and for information. I'd go for that one, but I'm forgiving. But I'm also arbitrary. Let's not forget this. But I threatened a merchant. I don't want my popular opinion to be lowered let's just pay for it and be on our way i'm not gonna mess up this time i've messed up so much previously in the past let's not do it again we could we could do a holy war for the duchy let's do that declare war against you so loud so loud let's raise our armies okay let's go north and save our brethren. I'm proud to see my son has come of age. Right, we need potential alliance. Claims, pressed claims, let's do this one. Actually, let's have a look at, cause yeah, we want all this stuff, but we also want to see if they've got inheritable traits. We get plus prestige for that, and it is a pretty decent alliance. She's trusting, calm, and gregarious, so, I mean, it's all positive. Let's go for her. Let's go for her, shall we? Right, returning back to our warring... Hey, oh, they've got more... Why have they got more people than us? Oh, I might have made a mistake. But it said I had a better army than them. They said I was inf they was inferior, but now they're superior. All right, let's call this ally to war, shall we? Come to my war, please. My friend died. Rogues, he died. Oh, well. If my ally could come at some point soon, that would be great. Maybe I didn't even need my ally. We'll have to see. It depends if these guys come and attack me. And they're not going to attack me. My son is no longer a child. Ermenrud the fourth. Let's find you a lady. All right, now we want... I'm not bothered about inheritable stuff. I want a good old alliance. That might be quite a good alliance, I think. Let's see if there's anyone with claims. This lady again with the claims... Yeah, you we'll go for you, actually. That's fine. All right, let's send a proposal to Haziga von Dudlibli. She's a fornicator, though. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Raiders have run rampant, kidnapping and slaving every skilled work they could find. Oh, wow. I'll have to help them rebuild. Okay. Help them rebuild. Let's get out of this war. Let's enforce demands. Thank you. Thank you. Vile king. I'm not vile. I'm good. Good king, I'm just, I'm just. All right, look at that. So now I'm in Bruges. We are gonna rake the money back in, guys. Rake it back in. What have we got going on? I can ask my head of faith for gold. Thank you. Okay, here's the thing. Pope has all Christian rulers of the kingdom of Syria. Just that, just that part of Syria. I've not had much luck with holy wars in the past. Could things change with King Ermenrud? I'm gonna join the crusade and hopefully this time it'll be okay. We'll be all right i don't think i'm doing terribly all right so let's have a look we've got defenders all of these are defenders and these are the attackers of which i am the second strongest we're gonna lose powerful vassal brother oh he's murdered someone oh he's the one that married into oh now they've got inbred children so this is just my niece all right but this is my niece and granddaughter and she's comely Apparently keeping it in the family apparently is good. Yolande. So you're not named after your mum or your dad. It's my daughter though. Oh, my dad married my daughter to my brother. That's what happened. Should we have him murdered? I think we should have him murdered. Because I, I disapprove of this being my daughter's father. Let's have him murdered. I will get stressed out by it, but let's murder him. Let's murder my brother for being married to my daughter. Let's do that been discovered already curses we'll still carry on with it though for days i have been obsessing over kyla's lineage and now i'm certain there's no way duke garcia can cons 
conclusively prove that the fatherhood of his son and heir, Garcia. Not confusing at all. Where there is lack of evidence, evidence can be planted. It is time for me to write a new truth for Garcia's origin. And I will have a starring role. Uh, <laughs> the dates, the journeys, the potential for secret meetings, it is all there. And with the rumours I have planted, even Duke Garcia, who looks very pissed off at the minute, is feeling some doubt over the fatherhood of his child, Garcia. It is only a matter of time before someone draws a conclusion that I'm the likely candidate. Come to Papa! Come to Papa, Garcia! <laughs> Come to Papa, my new son. Agatha of Mercia can marry... Let's see if anyone will do it. Matriel and Anna Lione can marry Azias for a very decent alliance. It'll all be within my dynasty. Yeah, let's do that. My daughter-in-law has given birth to a son, Ermenrud. We could call him Ermenrud, but I don't want any more Ermenruds. Popo? Mr. Popo? Mr. Popo. Let's call him Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo. Yeah, Mr. Popo. Wait, is it 1P? Right. Now it is time for us to crusade Syria. Let's hope that we don't die. Das Fund. Raise my armies. Raise them all. We're about even. We're about even. I can appoint a beneficiary. So, my daughter, you shall be my beneficiary. Syria's all the way down here. Ah. So. Got to cross lands. Okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. There's a lot of... Should we lead the charge? We just have to either... We can either come round... There's a lot of people already down here. I think I should just charge through. I will lose people. I'm coming through that way anyway. I probably want to come straight to here. Oh, I'm still going to lose people. No, that's fine. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll go through straight through that way. That's a good idea. Come on, allies. We all need to go. All of us. And start crusadering. Whoa. Okay, yeah, because they've got a lot of people all at one place. As my scheme moves closer to fruition, swift communication is key. I have an especially clever pigeon, which Martino could use to send an urgent message to me here in Borg, if the need arises. How would I get the bird into the castle of Aista? A local bird trainer could train it as a gift. 70% chance. I will send the gift myself. Definitely a boy it couldn't refuse. Send it myself. Martino, my agent, definitely... Boy's court has been discovered. Now the Count is playing steam under lock and key. Ah. Curse, definitely not a boy. And his spy master. It's okay. Things will be fine, I'm sure. There's a big, big army there. They'll come up and murder us all. Definitely a boy. One of my agents has acquired a deadly spider. We've done this before. Spiders are very effective murderers. So I hope you're not afraid of spiders, definitely a boy. He's dead. My brother is dead. My little friend has done his work well. Could come down here and come that will take me around everything yeah let's do that nicely done my cousin was taken prisoner my cousin poor guy oh well wait my daughter should be able to marry now my daughter another girl another girl of mercia can now marry someone that isn't her brother alexios ah, let's marry a greek person let's get it all greek in there let's just go for this this bit here it's because they've got all of their army all in one place and we're spread out these guys have got to come and save the well <laughs> there's no chance if i just stay around here and start destroying all these places then things will be fine i'm already at war who are you warring against yeah let's accept i'll accept the war you can just carry on while I carry on down here doing my own thing, everyone's all getting decimated up here. But I'm just down here going, I'm going to take this bit. Prisoner taken in siege. Oh, look at that. I've taken a prisoner in siege. So, now we've got that place. Let's come down to this one. They're going north to fight all of these people. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to lose this war, like, 100%, mate. I don't even know why I'm on it. I'm just on it for the prisoners. I'm just on it to get the prisoners. That's it. We were defeated. Oh, well. I'm still going to ask you for gold because I came to war for you. Let's ransom this guy. Oh, he can't afford the full ransom. Do I have him killed then? We could ransom him for less than half of what he's actually worth. Or I could execute him and have him beheaded and I could eat him because I'm a cannibal, remember? I forgot about that. But yes, I'm a cannibal. Let's, let's eat a child. How old is the... It's two years old. 
<laughs> oh shit. I'm gonna eat your two year old kid. It's gonna be a light snack. <laughs> But I've got 20% chance of being ill. That's fine. Uh, I lose 25% stress because I'm forgiving. That doesn't make sense. Let's do that. Sorry. Who's this? Who are you? And why do you want a vassal position? Ah, uh, your father was my rival. Uh, let's have you killed then. Account to scare. A local mystic with dubious knowledge. Let's scare him shitless, shall we? Let's lull him into a false sense of security, shall we? One of my agents, Deadly Spider. They will never learn their lessons with deadly spiders. So let's put the spider in the room and get him killed. Oh, look, he's dead. Oh, my daughter has come of age. Sybil, let's get you married to someone matrianally. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want, I don't want any of my family in that dynasty. Not of mercy, thank you. Let's go for you. Let's go for you. Oh, he's all... He's a leper. All right, yeah, whatever. My daughter gone to a leper. Another call to war. I want to start my own war. Fine, I'll come to war with... Fine. Right, army. Let's go further up north and attack these guys. A child of my dynasty. My daughter has given birth to a son. Thomas. There we go. Right, let's hurry up and finish this war. Stop calling me to war. I want my own wars. Go on then. I shall join you on your war, but I'm not I'm not going to be around for very long. My treasury is empty. My lard are barren. Even the rats have it's been sold to pay for my expenses. So much debt. Sybil, you're going to have to help me out. Oh, we lost that war. Wait, hold on. We lost two wars. That's fine, though. My culture has discovered mangolan ma mangonels. Wow. What's that? Wait, what? My brother created another dynasty? Okay, so he's created another branch of the dynasty. So he's head of head of the house, so he's created his own house. But it's still part of my dynasty. Alright. Alright. So am I, I'm not at war with anyone now, that's good, that's good to know. This here, I am going to war for that, yeah. Yeah, raise my army, thank you. Oh, you always, I'm already at a war, do I? Well, let's call Ally to deal with the peasant uprising. Let's just do all of my allies to deal with the peasant uprising, shall we? Come join my peasant uprising. Come join the peasant uprising. Come join the peasant uprising. Come join the peasant uprising. And come join the peasant uprising. That'll be enough, I think. Excellent. 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 <laughs> More? More peasants uprising? My daughter has come of age. Marry off to someone, Matriana. Let's just marry you off to this Armenian guy. Why not? I mean, I don't even know if Cade branches are good or bad. I have to Google it. But I've got another. There's another one now. Okay, let's sort this guy out first, and then we can. Someone's plotting to kill my daughter, Sybil. Is it? Is it you? He's a treacherous villain. It's definitely him. It's it's her husband. Just saying. It's definitely her husband. Oh, my guy's getting depressed. I'm going through the same thing my father went through. Melancholic. What? Agatha died. She was killed during a siege. Where am I being sieged from? Oh. Let's deal with the peasants now, shall we? Oh. What? My daughter's two, two sons. Ah. Humbert and... Uh, well... Humbert's just given me an idea of Engelbert. You know, it's coming. Humperdink. There we go. Strong wise, Engelbert and Humperdink. Thank you. Right. Enforce demands. I'll imprison you. Yes. Okay. Right. Now I shall continue fighting these. These. The smell hits me before I hit the door is open. A heavy, meaty odor that permeates in the area. It is a stench of the newly dead. Yet another body has been found. They have all been people of little importance, thank God, but the court is getting nervous. I shall scour the castle for this murderer. Kill these guys first, please. Thank you. Enforce demands. 
I will take all of that. Yeah, look at this. Look. Look at all that land. It's, it's good things are happening. Good things are happening. Finally. Ermenrud, you can marry. What happened to your spouse? She was killed during the siege. Ah. Let's uh, see what kind of alliances we get out of this. Pretty good one. Oh, she's got claims as well. She will do. Someone is plotting to kill my knight. Emic. How could someone plot to kill you, Sir Knight? Prisoners, let's see. Oh, yeah. You. You did the peasant uprising. Now, you revolted against me, so I want to execute you and eat you. Yep. Sorry. Why are you in my dungeon? Is your faith has considered you to be evil. So I can eat and I can kill and eat you as well. Wow, my guy's killing and eating everybody. At least it's a bit more meat on the bones. Even the malnourished girl is a bit more meat on the bones than the baby. The two-year-old. Oh, God. Claim of... Oh. For months, Helio's bishop has been digging up suspicious contracts. Now, you dare act as if it all amounts to a legitimate claim of the county of... Oh. Oh. So, let's see what that means. Oh, you... Are the person in charge of a mains, right? And I can I can go to war against you for that so that you don't have any claims left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. You want your claims? You can eat my shots. Oh, just you try and go for it. Ew. Who's gonna siege first? Hey, minting new coinage. It is my right and responsibility to determine what coinage is to be used throughout of all of Mercia. The choices I make will determine how the coinage is, how the coinage, and by extension my realm, is seen through the world. I can, I can mint gold coins and print it with my own visage. Yeah, let's do that. Tourney troubles. As king, I have been obligated, obliged to attend a local jousting tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. Sybil, my spymaster and chancellor, Count Arnul, is here and, oh, as always, is being an insufferable lout. Her constant complaining is making everyone even more miserable than normal. Sybil, you insufferable lout. On the other hand, I just noticed a merchant dropping off carts of spiced wine. I could push Sybil into the horse's water trough to liven things up. I like this one. I'm arbitrary, so let's push her into the cart. Murders at my court, my child. I find my daughter Sybil in her own bed, cold and dead. The bedding saturated with blood and the slow drip drip of it hitting the floor beneath the bed seems to echo in the chamber. What do I do? I will investigate this personally. Thank you. Enforce demands. Thank you. Now that is my bit of land. Look at that. I can make these join up at some point and then come up here and take all of this stuff. Daughter Perna has given birth to a son, Richard. It's a good strong and wise name yeah whoa whoa i stare down at the lifeless body of my son ermenrud and feel dizzy surely it is my blood that is coating the floor beneath him for none of it is reaching my brain i crouch beside him cupping a cold cheek in my hand his eyes are wide open but in surprise rather than horror did someone that you know do this to you ah oh, man people keep murdering my children I think I can spend 150 my firstborn daughter not a boy died under suspicious circumstances my son Ermenrud was murdered I've got another daughter who was killed during a siege another daughter who was murdered very recently again as well people keep murdering my children just don't kill Prince Aetherwolf please because he's my literal only heir left that's going to be any good. Shit. Okay. A letter is waiting for me as I return to my chambers, written in red ink. No, in blood. For the sake of the kingdom, you will stop this search. I have lived my whole life right under your nose, and still you are so blind. To uncover my identity would only bring you pain. This handwriting it looks like that of my vassal, Mayor Jean. Could it be? Could it be? Ah, I'm so sorry. Right. Whoa, 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 
Whoa! Who is killing my family? I find my departed wife, Queen Sybil, strung up outside my castle. Her body is cold, pale, unmoving. But what is that? A small note has been tucked into the folds of her cl clothes. This is my last victim, my last gift for you, King Ermenrud. But do not fear, I'll still be around watching you. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Let's find me a wife. I, I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't actually believe any of that. That's crazy. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's marry you. Why not? I really want to know who killed my family. Would be nice. Things aren't going well anymore. Things were going well, but they're not going well anymore. While performing his duty as my spymaster, Manassas has uncovered a secret held by my wife. There is evidence she may be participating in secret rituals. What other purpose would there be for something like that but to commune with evil spirits? What evil is she planning? My wife! Come on! Wife! Wife. Wife. Well, that was a short-lived marriage. God. I have to marry again, shall I? Why are they so young? Fine, I'll marry you. Ah, oh, my daughter, another girl, has given birth to a son. Lawrence. Call him Lawrence. Oh, my queen's pregnant. That's good. Got busy, didn't we, Mr. Emonrud? Didn't we? Oh, I've got another son. After myself, after my father. No. A good Catholic name. Patrick. Let's call him Patrick, yeah. She's pregnant again. She's pregnant again. Good going. You know what? Let's, let's go to war against this guy. I wanted that bit, but this bit will do. My rival has died. Maybe she was the one who killed family. That's alright, at least, you know, I can feel a bit better about stuff. Let's take this and then... Alright, what do you want? You come to war against me for what? Ah, you want that county, do you? Let's call my allies to war. Hopefully, they'll just go up and kill him while I deal with this down here. You had to wait until I was at war, didn't you? My daughter, after Queen Sybil, why not? I don't know where to go now. Do I just try and stop? I'll stop these from getting. I'll have to stop you, won't I? My daughter has given birth to a son. Another son. Sam! Samuel! We'll call him Samuel. If I go north a bit, will my allies follow me? Ah, oh, sod it. Let's just try it. Ah, oh, the queen's pregnant again. Yay! Let's try it. My son. Let's call him Ermenrud. Why not? Force demands, thank you. Right, let's take this guy now. My glory is widely known. Yes. Another son. Uh, Marcus. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why has that happened? No. I'll not have that. No. My agents have prepared this for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired and the duck was gifted to Prince Aethel Wolf alone. It will be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs will mask its smell as it's served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Bon appetit, Aethel Wolf. And I became the new head of the din dynasty. There you go. There we go. I'm the new head of the dynasty. It must be something he ate. She gave birth to my daughter in prison. I'm gonna call you prison baby. Prison baby. There we go. Strong and wise prison baby. I don't know where my enemy army is. I mean, why am I losing? Defender controls war target. So it's the county of Forez. Let me where I fight next then. I've died! Ah! King Ermenred III of Mercia rests in the arms of the Lord at 62 years of age. He died of unknown causes, known for his twisted, conniving mind. He never realized, revealed his true intentions to anybody, not even his closest friends, of his cannibalness. King Aethelwulf ascends to the throne. 
Spending long hours in prayers not to upset God. Many are confident that Aethelwolf's reign will be a blessing to the realm. So I literally died, oh I died of old age. I was illustrious, devoted servant, intriguing lifestyle, fought in ten wars. King Aethelwolf I think inherits pretty much everything. Oh no, titles lost in succession. I think he might be okay. He was only two years younger than his, his father. That's not too bad. So next time we will shall continue as Aethel Wolf and maybe hopefully win this war that we started and then maybe we can get back to England somehow. Who knows, maybe Aethel Wolf will be a good king. We'll find out, shall we? Next time.